dodge and twist, which sounds like a uh, an aerobics move, doesn't it? Uh, but yes, a new drama bringing the story of Oliver back to life, following on years later. Well, Oliver's had to come back to London. He's penniless. He falls in with uh, the Arthur Dodger again uh, and encounters the ghost of Fagin. So we bring back a lot of those great characters uh, in a reimagined... Because I think one of the best things about Dickens's characters is they are so real, you feel they have a life beyond the books. And in fact, I know that Dickens in his life would write letters to his characters or talk about his characters as if their lives were continuing beyond the end of the books. So he knew what had happened to all of them after the books had finished. So I think this is wholly appropriate that we write a story about what happened to Oliver years later. It's very nice to come in and be the one to set up the story and to make it sound like I've written it without having lifted a finger. Uh, please enjoy my story uh, written by someone else, Tony Lee. I'm there to set it up set each chapter up, provide a bit of atmosphere, and then let, um, let the rest of them get on with the actual drama. I think they all, all of Dickens' works lend themselves to a sequel. Um, there aren't, as far as I can think off the top of my head, any of his books that end with them all going up in flames. <laughs> and even in this, we managed to bring Fagin back, even though he was, uh, you know, hanged. So, um, yeah, I mean, let's see where Pip is now, or Little Dorrit.